inside of this massive box is the only way that you can get two Funko Pops. But we're not gonna get into this yet. First, we've got a couple other packages that I wanna show you. Starting with this bad boy right here that I ordered from the Pokemon Center. This, I've gotta say, is something pretty interesting. And a lot of people have been talking about it both being good and bad. And so let's open this thing up and find out what it looks like in person because I am pretty pumped about it. Ooh, alrighty, I can see it. It's looking pretty good. This is a brand new Pikachu exclusive to Pokemon's website. And I am really enjoying this sticker on the front there that says only at Pokemon Center. And now right away at a quick glance, you might be noticing why people are talking about this one. And it's actually because this is the first pearlescent Pikachu. Now, of course, I understand why they started this line with Pikachu, because if you guys don't know, there's going to be a bunch of them exclusive to their website. Like, I mean, he pretty much is the mascot. I just felt like they should have also changed up the mold a little bit because we've got this one now, I believe, five or six times. But honestly, that's not stopping me from collecting the entire set still. So now let's take this one out of the box and see what we've got going on here because it is pearlescent. It's a little different than metallic. It honestly reminds me a little bit more like the ones, the facet figures they're doing for the 100th anniversary of Disney. And it's not like chiseled like that. Of course, it is the normal sculpt, but it's got a bit of a purple sheen to it instead of just the normal like, oh, this is a golden Pikachu, you know? And I think honestly, the box does help out a lot because if it weren't for that, it would look pretty similar out. Like, I mean, come on, can you really tell? But then when you put it back inside of here and you take a look at the entire thing, it's a nice bundle, you know? But anyway, still a fun one. And I'm so glad that I was able to get it because it did end up selling out. And pretty quickly at that. And I'm not exactly sure how many pieces it was, but it must've been somewhat limited. And now this next one here is coming from the Funko shop and I can see the figure already. I am really pumped about this. And I believe they're gonna be releasing four for this set. I mean, that would make sense. And the one that I'm talking about is this here. Oh my gosh. I don't exactly know what they're calling it, but it is the Gryffindor crest from Harry Potter with a Gryffindor pop in the front. Seriously, a fun one. So let's actually take it out of here. And like I mentioned, this was exclusive to the Funko shop, but I believe you can still pick one up. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I don't think it's sold out because I haven't seen anybody really talking about it selling out. I don't think so. But if you're a fan of Harry Potter, I definitely, definitely recommend this because wow, that is great. And also the only way you can get a Gryffindor Funko Pop like this. Oh, and don't forget everybody, I've got to take the sticker off of the wrap so I can put it on the box. Let me get this. I always say this, but shout out to Blake's Popnuck for the great idea because he said just pop it on the back so that way you can remember where it was exclusive to. And I really do like that idea because usually there's a little bit of room for it. I know, like I said, I'm guessing that there's probably going to be three more coming out for this set. I just don't exactly know when because Funko hasn't really talked about it. I'm guessing maybe once this one sells out. I hope it's around then. But seriously, a super fun character and I can't wait to get the other three and see them in person. And now we've got this box over here, which is another Another one from the Funko shop, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple things inside. And if I were to guess, ooh, I'm trying to think. So I opened up a bunch of Funko shop packages the other day, and I recommend you guys checking that one out because there was some fun stuff in that video. But I'm trying to think as to what could be inside of here. I guess we'll have to take a look. Ooh, okay, so there's a couple things. Oh, did I order two of this one? I must have. It is the Easter Popsies for Bugs Bunny. If you guys don't know, when you press the bottom here, it actually says Happy Easter, Doc. And uh, yeah, I accidentally ordered two. I mean, they're only six bucks. It's not a big deal. Deal. And then it looks like, what else do we have in here? Some bubble wrap and then, oh, this is a great shirt. Okay, yeah, you guys are gonna have to check this out. A little while ago, Warner Brothers announced their 100th anniversary figures with Funko and then they also came out with this t-shirt and I thought it was just like so unique, I wanted to pick it up. Take a look at this. It is all of the Looney Tunes characters dressed up as the ones from, of course, Scooby-Doo. They're inside of the mystery machine and I can't wait to wear this thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm also really enjoying that it's not a another black or gray shirt. White is a nice change. All right, so now let's find out what this figure could be because it is just a single one and what would have came out around the same time? I don't know, guys. I guess we'll have to find out together. And anyways, here we go. And it's right side up this time. And it looks like this one here is the glow in the dark Bruno Madrigal, which means I am, I believe, back up to date again on these guys. I really enjoyed Encanto, so I wanted to pick up every single figure as they were releasing. And Bruno was the one that I needed. Now I just need the soda and I can't wait to get that one. If you guys don't know, it's pretty much this exact character here. And actually, it's kind of like the exclusive 
exclusive and the common put together because that is the Chase and Common variant. And so if you're wondering what glows on this, I believe it is his outfit as well as the eyes on both the rat and him. So it's going to be really cool to see this. And actually, now that I think about it, wasn't this a Funko Shop exclusive? So where's the other sticker? Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I swear I wasn't. Uh, somebody let me know in the comments. And now, everybody, it is time to get into this big boy here, which I am seriously excited about because I have not seen this thing in person at all. I've just got to be careful. I do not want to cut this box. And I guess I'll let you guys know a little more as I'm cracking this open. I ordered it from Walmart. There are more than one figure inside of the same box and actually kind of like three of the same character inside of this one. It's almost like an if you know, you know. But anyways, let's get into this here and wow, this is looking good. And now, I mean, come on, guys. Take a look at this. This is the Walmart exclusive Spider-Man No Way Home 8-pack. And like I had mentioned earlier, this is the only way that you can get two figures out of here in their normal size pop. We have the Lizard as well as Sandman. You can get these three as well as these guys by themselves, but if you want those two, you've got to get the big bundle. Which honestly, I thought was a pretty cool way to do it, because otherwise people would have probably just bought the separate ones, but I'm really liking them all together like this. And yeah, I gotta say, the Lizard is looking great as well. Sandman, it looks like he has some of the pipes around him, probably towards the end of the film, if I were to guess. And you know what? We might as well pop it out of the box. Let me just see if I can get this going here because there is a lot of tabs on the back. All righty. Let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, geez. This is a massive, massive insert. Let me see here. So this is Sandman. Ha 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 ha. I am really liking that. And then, of course, to the left of that one, we have the lizard. And every other figure inside of here we have seen before, but it's still really cool to get them in a giant bundle like this. And I don't believe anything else is different about them, and I'm pretty sure I have almost every single one of these guys separate. Yeah, I think I do. But now that the big eight pack has arrived, it'll be fun to kind of just keep them in here, and I'm gonna have to find a good spot in the room somewhere. I'll figure it out. And so anyways, everybody, there we go. That is everything for today. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys picked up any of the stuff that I talked about today because there was a pretty random amount of stuff. Like, what was it? Five things from five different licenses? A pretty good assortment. And so, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow!